the BBC never loses an opportunity to push an agenda. In this case, the global warming agenda. And here we have a fine example of another bit of BBC hanky panky. I'm Granny Opteryx. So this is the BBC narrative. BBC weather map row heats up over confusing colours. Bright yellow is used for temperatures as low as 11 C. That would be, what, 50, 51 Fahrenheit, wouldn't it? While 41 C, which is 105 or something like that in Fahrenheit, so that is pretty hot, is depicted as dark red. So here we have the weather map. The BBC has been criticised for the colour scale it uses to represent temperatures. 11C is shown as yellow here. And if it gets to 13C, it goes orange. And 13, 13C would be 55 Fahrenheit, wouldn't it? So uh, I, I wouldn't call that exactly orange. The colour scheme, it says here, was introduced in 2017, with the BBC at the time saying it was intended to help those with colour blindness. With respect, well, actually, without any respect at all, uh, the most prevalent form of colour blindness is red-green. And so this and this, uh, there wouldn't be any difference to, well, or very little difference to anyone with colour blindness. So you can't fool me. No, actually, if you want to help people with colour blindness, you would do this map. All I did here was uh, run a circle around the British Isles and then desaturate the picture. And there you can see a good uh, contrast. I, I didn't turn the contrast up, but if I had, you'd have seen a darker grey here, a paler grey there, a very dark grey there. It's much easier for somebody with colour blindness to see that. But that doesn't look half so catastrophic as, as this does. And we're all we're all in global warming at 11 Celsius, 51 Fahrenheit. Uh, Toby Young, the founder of website The Daily Skeptic, suggested that the BBC was going a bit far. Oh, just ever so slightly a tad of a shade of a sliver of a, a bit of going too far. How is it going to represent temperatures above 20 C? Fireballs, he said, uh, would not surprise me. Listen, uh, Toby, uh, I want to point something out. There is no prediction you can't make about the behavior of the BBC that they don't go one step further. So yeah, I wouldn't give them any ideas. A weather forecast on Tuesday night showed, oh, there's something else I want to point out since I'm, I'm quite sensitive to the way people dress. You notice the colours uh, that the, the, the man is wearing. You know, these aren't sort of 50 C colours. They're not the, I mean, sort of, these aren't uh, uh, 51 Fahrenheit colours, 11 C. They're the colours you wear uh, when it's quite warm, aren't they? They're sort of almost tropical kit type colours. And it would not surprise me at all if he had been told to wear those colours, to make this look more extreme than it is. Uh, uh, so a weather forecast on Tuesday night showed most of the country yellow and orange for Wednesday when temperatures were predicted to hit as high, as high as 20 C. One viewer wrote on social media that the system was utterly farcical. It's farcical, yes. It is also sinister. Because anyone who could make orange here, orange, to represent a temperature of around 55 Fahrenheit, they have an agenda. That's not an accident. And it's certainly not to do with colour blindness. I shall remind you, if you're colourblind, this is the way 
the most helpful way to see your maps. They're not thinking of people who are colourblind. They're thinking of people who can see colours and who are uh, just getting drilled into their heads that the country is boiling up. Well, the world's boiling up, sorry. And uh, well, this viewer who said this was utterly farcical also said, I'm not a massive conspiracy theorist, but I have to agree with those who castigate the utter ludicrous use of bright yellow and orange and red on the weather maps to indicate temperatures of 18 or 19 degrees, the viewer wrote. Absolutely. And you don't have to be a conspiracy theorist to see the sort of message that the BBC is trying to put across at any given opportunity. Since when another wrote that the BBC need to give their heads a collective wobble? <laughs> Since when has 13C warranted yellow orange on the weather map, the viewer wrote? Well, since the BBC decided to try and convince us that the world is boiling up, obviously. A BBC spokesman said the colours used now range from blue at the coldest temperatures through to red for the hottest, as these colours are easier to see if you live with colour blindness. Absolutely not! Last year, the broadcaster was forced to clarify its colour scheme after viewers suggested it had increased the intensity of the map to raise alarm over increasing temperatures. An image that went viral at the time contrasted a weather map from August 2003 showing temperatures up to 35 C with an image from 2016 showing temperatures up to 33 C. I'll try and find it and I'll put it there if, if I find it. The BBC's weather service has also faced criticism for being too gloomy in its approach to, uh, to the weather by always showing the worst predicted conditions, even if they're short-lived. So uh, let's just recap on that. The BBC showed this, which uh, takes temperatures as low as 11 Celsius or 51 Fahrenheit and, uh, and paints them orange and then takes 20 as red, you know, unbearably hot. And they say this is to do with making things easier for people who are colourblind, when in fact this would make it easier for people who are colourblind. But of course, that doesn't look quite so catastrophic. And it's also easier to see the contrasts in browsers which don't reproduce colours that well in some in many cases. The BBC say that they are doing this because of differences in the way people perceive things, when in fact what they're doing is trying to make you perceive something that just isn't so. In fact, the only thing they're doing with the lighting here is gaslighting. Till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grembo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.